Mid-March 2011, I adopted this cat from the shelter in Berkeley. Um, this was a short-haired, well, this is a short-haired tabby who's supposed to be spayed and, well, neutered or whatever, spayed. And um, she wasn't. And two weeks later, I just thought she was a fat cat, was kind of lazy and, um, you know, puked on occasion. Uh, you know, I, I contacted the shelter people and they said, oh, it's because it's a different kind of food. Uh, it's uh, because um, she's, you know, she's stressed out, a different situation. And she kept getting fat and she kept puking. And she started sleeping and sleeping and sleeping. And she would sleep, you know, about 25 or 26 hours a day. Um, so, yeah. So, then lo and behold, two weeks in, on March 29th, I suddenly hear not only her meowing, but also the kittens, so, you know, kittens appeared out of nowhere. So it turns out not only was she not spayed, she was also pregnant. Apparently they saw that she was not, a, you know, she didn't care about the boys and all that kind of stuff. And that led them to assume, and she has a somewhat of a scar here. Um, no, I don't really see it. They said when they shaved her, they saw a scar or so they claimed. Um, they said that, um, yeah, you know, that she was not pregnant. But anyway, the kittens appeared out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, this cat is now, uh, just to let you know, the, there were four kittens um, immaculately, immaculately conceived, and um, the mom turned out to be a good mom, and now it's a couple of weeks in, and the kittens are playing, you know, they're, they're driving crazy, but the shelter people, they want the kittens back, uh, well, no, well, they want to bring the kittens in for adoption. So I'm kind of sad, you know, if I'm going to lose them. So I'm just making a small YouTube uh, selection of videos. I don't know if it's any good or anything. Okay. So this is Dushtu. Erstwhile named Gladys. Um, she doesn't respond to the name Gladys. Um, so I'm guessing it's not her name. But she does respond to Dushtu because whenever I give her food, that's what I yell. Dushtu! Dushtu means mischievous. Yeah, Dushtu! So I don't know whether she thinks it's her name or it is food. food. Either way, she 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 cries out. Can anyway, I she, again? Dushtu! Yeah, see? <laughs> see? So considering that it's... Yeah. She's not the world's smartest cat, but she really is a nice cat, sweet cat. Except right now, she is in heat. And okay, I, and okay. There is nothing, you know, she's, she cries all night long. This is Agent Orange. Well, she comes out if he comes out of the shadows. There you go. It's actually pretty fiery orange. And I'm looking for good homes for them. So if you are in the Berkeley area, um, that's Berkeley, California. Oops. Yeah, they're incredible in skate parties. That is Agent Orange. He's not a placeholder name, so that's that. Because he's fiery orange. I don't know if you on the light. Uh, he was really, 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 really orange at birth. And he's not as orange right now, but he's still fairly orange. I don't know. Many people want orange. this cat simply because orange. he's orange. People are cat racists. <laughs> okay. That once again is but mouse too. And the hawking cat is the only one who is a female. She is black cat, a uh, black cat with uh, patches. It's because she's a girl. The others are all boys, and they're not as rambunctious. Uh, there we go. But now she is. She's hopping around. And for a long time, she was much smaller than everybody else, and now she's approximately uh, the same size. So she has found a newfound confidence, and she actually beats up the other cats, who are still sort of bigger than her, but not by that much. Yeah, there you can see the tail of. The blonde cat, um, who looks kind of similar to the orange cat. In fact, might actually be the orange cat. Um, at this distance, I can't make out.